All right, well, it's time to talk about killing copperheads again. Um, you know, as a dad with four little kids, this means a lot to me. Um, <clears throat> and I was going to show you guys, of course, where we killed them this time. Last year, we killed one right there outside the garage door. And there was another little bitty one that actually got inside the garage. Uh, killed both those on St. Patty's Day, no less. Um, so we're a little bit past St. Patty's Day now. But my wife had this black tub inside this little cedar box you know just for a little lily pond which she's now moved all of those over to the other tub wanted to get this one out lifted up cleaned up so she asked me to help her so here i step off right here in the weeds right about my foot was right about where that letter is and uh we start to lift the tote tote up and she spots one under the tote and um she's definitely afraid of snakes so she instantly locked on she bails out you know well she runs to get a shovel and so i step off right here onto the deck and I look and I see the other one sitting right here so I'll put you a picture here at the end because I've already killed them buried their heads threw the bodies out in the woods but I'll show you a picture of what size they were they're about 18 and 24 inches long so they were full size ones but what I wanted to tell you guys why it's so important is because copperheads especially they try to hide and not be seen and they don't necessarily run away they try to sit still and it's exactly what these did so you know and of course they blend in really well with leaf litter so, I mean, think about it. I'm standing here on the deck. Okay, can you get that toy? I'll get it. I'm standing here on the deck, and I stepped off, put my foot just like this. And the one that was sitting right here did not move. I mean, look. From my foot to right there, it did not move. And I didn't see it. So, that thing was, it was easily within striking distance of my foot. Now, let's, I don't know, let's just say I had lost my balance and stumbled. Stepped right there, boom. It probably would have hit me. So that's the really important thing with, with copperheads, and you know, I'm, I'm sure there's other snakes that do it too, but copperheads especially, they try to curl up and sit still and not be seen. And they're usually not gonna strike at you unless you pretty well step right on top of them. Um, so definitely, definitely something to think about, um, you know, especially if you got little kids running around. So we actually, we cut the heads off and then had our oldest, our four-year-old come out here, the one you just saw in the video had her we brought her out here and showed her you know those snakes and said if you see these patterns you know you run you run and you come get daddy or mommy um and educated her i encourage all of you to educate your own kids especially if you live anywhere around venomous snakes i mean down here around houston uh, i know we have obviously the copperheads there's maybe some rattlesnakes i'm really not familiar with there's bad rattlesnakes around here but i'm sure there are um but coral snakes actually and then also uh, cotton mouths daddy and I've actually killed, I've actually yeah. killed a coral snake back here in the garden about two years ago, and just the other day actually saw another one. I didn't have a chance to kill it, but did see another one. So everybody thinks they're rare, and those are they're usually way more skittish. Um, both times I've seen them, they were already on the run, and I managed to run it down and Daddy. catch the one and kill it last year. Daddy. Anyway, just want to talk about that for a little bit. My heart rate's still up a little bit. My wife, I'm sure, is. Um, but very, very important, you know, don't get, you know, don't get complacent. Always, always, especially if you have leaf litter like this. And my wife says, well, you ready to clean up those leaves now? And I said, well, I could, but it doesn't matter because then the snakes would just hide around at the edge of the deck where they're hiding in the shadow. The reason they were here is not because they're trying to come hurt us. They were here because that little water pond had lizards and crickets and all sorts of stuff like that hanging around it. And they hunt lizards, small rodents frogs stuff like that so it makes perfect sense as to why they were here of all places i just took a quick tour around the yard all the other places that we have leaf litter on the ground didn't see any now i might have missed them <laughs> but i didn't see them and i was specifically looking for them so just something to think about don't get absolutely don't get complacent and if you see them kill them you know i'm the type of guy listen a rat snake um garter snakes they're harmless i don't kill them um but something that's venomous, venomous Dad. ones, I'm not going to think twice. Daddy, so Daddy. just want to talk about that a little Dad. bit, talk about their habits, you know, how they respond, and just kind of remind everybody, look out, because they're the type that will sit right there and just wait for you to step on them before they, before they strike you.